Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you how I covered up this mirrored backing with some beautiful French toile wallpaper. I'm also going to share how I created this arrangement for fall and I will also share a beautiful way to add some ambiance to your fireplace without turning it on or lighting a fire. So let's go ahead and just jump right into today's video. If you follow me over on my Instagram, you already know about this, but some of you don't, so I'm gonna share it here as well. I have been not really liking the light bulbs that I have right now. As you can see right here, these are very, very bright. It's almost like a, I think the name of it's called Daylight, and it does not have a warm color at all. I've had these in for years, and the color that I really want is right here over on my nightstand. I have like a candelabra with some warmer lights. So right now I'm just trying to switch them all out. I don't know why they have just been hurting my eyes and it's not very relaxing. I know it looks better on camera, but the, that daylight bright color is just not very relaxing to me. And I'm really wanting to warm things up, especially since winter is right around the corner and I just want things to look a little more warm. But as you can see, I'm showing you downstairs. Some of them are switched out already and I am really liking it. I know some people don't, but it just was too like hospital white for me. So I am trying to find light bulbs that have a warmer color. This might be too warm, but I need help finding where I can find like the perfect color of light bulb without it being like crazy overly bright that's just too much and um, so if you do know of a really good light bulb that the color is perfect it's not too yellow looking but it's also not too bright looking please let me know down in the comments I would greatly appreciate it. So any type of clutter can add a little bit of uneasiness and I feel like with this mirrored back here on my hutch, it almost made the things that I placed in here feel a little cluttery, if that makes sense. So I thought that I would kind of refresh this hutch, make it look less cluttered and get rid of that mirror on the back. I didn't want to hassle with actually taking the mirror out so I came up with this idea to add some beautiful wallpaper to the back and my inspiration for this came from one of Wayfair's videos that they have on the YouTube channel. I know Wayfair is very popular for their home decor and all of that fun stuff to fit your style and to find everything that you need. But I don't know if you know this, but Wayfair also has a YouTube channel and I've recently been watching the small stuff and it has inspired me so much to do little things around the house. And one of them is just refreshing my dining room. If you've never heard of the small stuff, it is a Wayfair series here on YouTube. The host of the show is a really funny dad that shares small home improvement projects with a can-do attitude and willingness to learn. And that really inspired me and made me feel so much more comfortable that these tiny little home projects can be fun and they most definitely can be done. So go check out the full episode of The Small Stuff. You will absolutely love it. He is hilarious. Click the link down in my description box and go subscribe to the Wayfair channel. You will not be disappointed. So this is the wallpaper that I'm using. It's like a beige toile print and I absolutely love toile and it goes perfectly with my decor. So I'm going to cut some strips out, soak them in water, and then I'm going to apply them to the back of my hutch. 
I purchased this beautiful wallpaper on Amazon and it was so easy to apply. You didn't need any extra glue or any extra tools or supplies to apply this. So I just ran it under warm water, got it wet, activated the glue, and then applied it to the back and it was that simple. I did let this sit overnight, but there were some spots that didn't fully dry. As you can see right here, it kind of ripped the paper. So you are going to want to make sure that this is completely dry before you start cutting any extra pieces off. I could have left this another day and then went back in with my cutter and fixed that. But everything turned out beautiful, and now I'm just going to place everything back in my hutch. For this piece, I am going to add some fall decor and I wanted to make this planner box look a little festive for the fall season and then place it up at the very top of my hutch, that first shelf. I ended up using a garland with pumpkins and berries and stuff and then I just kind of twisted it up a little bit and then used some filler to fill in those little spare spots with some beautiful fall leaves and fall florals.
this is the birdcage that was previously in my hutch and I didn't really want to store it away. I wanted to decorate it and use it somewhere in my home so I thought that putting it in front of this fireplace and adding some beautiful candles would be perfect. It's not quite cold enough to turn my fireplace on and I thought that it would add some beautiful ambiance over here. I originally just placed it sitting right on the floor here and then I thought, you know what, I need some height to this and I was originally thinking about buying some feet at Hobby Lobby and just placing them on the bottom of the cage but for now I really wanted to use everything that I already had I didn't want to go out and buy anything new for this project so I just used a white planter box and stuck it down there on the bottom and it's very heavy so I thought this would work out pretty well and then I just have a variety of candles and then I'm just gonna place them inside of the bird cage in just random places and I thought that this turned out really really pretty Sometimes when I'm decorating, I don't think about things until I'm in the process of decorating. So I did not plan on adding any of these extras that I'm gonna show you here in a second. But as I'm placing these candles in this cage, I thought it would look really pretty if I had the reflection of that light. So I thought it would look really nice to add a mirror behind the cage. Not only would it add that extra light, but it would cover up that hole where the fireplace is and then I noticed that it wasn't quite large enough to completely cover the fireplace so I'm going to add some shutters that I already had and then balancing out all of that white I thought a beautiful basket with some florals in here and a pumpkin would just make everything all come together and then I'm just replacing my little wax warmer over here to add a little more of that fall look over here with a beautiful white fall pumpkin and I purchased that pumpkin warmer at Walmart last year. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep cause I'm not tired. I'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young. I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too late now. I just miss you. Not tired. I can hear the rain just falling. 
Well, that is it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Make sure that you say hi down in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.